Today I have this really nice fall makeup tutorial for you guys and I was mainly inspired by my background um, so I really wanted to do something with browns and orange and a hint of yellow and I really do apologize for delay on this video going up I just have a lot going on and if you guys are following me on Instagram you may already know so if you're not just follow me I will list my Instagram in the description box and we're just gonna go ahead and get started so first I'm gonna take this first shade this is a makeup geek eyeshadow I can't remember the name of it but I'm just gonna use that in my crease as my transition color next I'm gonna go in with this really nice taupey deep brown color it's not like a chocolate brown it's a little um, rusty but I'm just gonna take that and blend that in my crease to start building up the intensity next I'm gonna take this color I know for sure this is Anastasia Beverly Hills hot chocolate and I'm just gonna use that to deepen the outer V as well as the inner corner of my eye kind of making a sandwich eye or a halo eye as some people might call it and I'm just going to do that and then blend it in my crease and make sure everything is really nice and blended in seamlessly Next, I'm going to go in with Flamethrower by Makeup Geek. This is a foiled eyeshadow, and I'm just going to pat that all over the center of my lid where I left that area bare. And I'm going to go in with another Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow. Um, I can't remember the name of this one, but it will be listed in the description box. Everything will, as usual. But I'm just going to take that and just apply that on the outer parts of that flamethrower color just to get a hint of yellow and then the flamethrower color in the center and then a little bit of the yellow as it transitions into the brown. So you guys will see. Um, I'm not really good at explaining it, but hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. So to go with the whole theme of kind of brown, orangey tones, and yellow, I'm going to go in with these glitters. They are in a Martha Stewart glitter set. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of um, eyelash glue and then start tapping that all over my eyelid. I did move on forward um, past my foundation and everything because everything is still the same. Um, I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and just bronze up my face and add a little bit of color back into my face and then I'm also going to contour um, with this makeup geek contour shade and just contour the hollows of my cheeks my nose and I'm also going to go under my jawline as well I didn't mention um, the the um, lashes um, I am wearing Coco lashes in the style goddess I believe it's either goddess or queen bee um, I can't really tell right now just by looking at it, but I'm also going to take a Makeup Geek blush and apply that to the apples of my cheeks with that same brush that I used to just bronze up my face. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Gleam Kit and just apply a very generous amount to the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, as well as the bridge of my nose. So now to finish off the eye look, I'm going to go in with Hot Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills and run that under my lash line. And then I'm going to take a really nice um, orange color. I think this is Morocco and Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to blend that out underneath my, um, just to blend that hot chocolate color out and smoke it out. And I really wanted the intensity of the top to sort of match the bottom. So I'm going to take that flamethrower shade and just kind of smudge that under my lash line as well. Now I'm just going to take some eyeliner and just apply that to my lower lash line and then just apply a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes just so the drama on the bottom matches the top and everything just flows really nicely together. For my lips, I'm going to take Terra Kiss by Jordana. I honestly thought this was my Coco Loco lip liner, but when I started using it, it had a little bit more red tone in it, which I kind of liked because it really flowed with the rest of the makeup look. And then I'm just going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick and just blend that into my lips with the lip liner. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And please also leave any suggestions in the description box for any anything else that you would like to see i love you guys and i hope you guys have a nice day and yeah subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and until next time i'll see you in my next video bye guys